Okay, in this brief video we want to take a quick look at some new FastCommerce stores, stores that are running on the FastCommerce system that are kind of cool. Plus we want to take a brief overview of how to search engine optimize your FastCommerce store. In the past number of months and weeks the engineering staff at FastCommerce has um, put in a lot of work into making sure that your um, Fast Commerce stores are search engine visible to the max. We're going to be introducing some tools that will allow you to analyze, gauge, and boost your rankings. But for now, we're just going to go through some of the basics of the search engine optimization that you do on your Fast Commerce store when you set up. Let's take a look at those new stores real quick. There's one here. These are all new stores that have just signed up and are still in the process of being built, but ones that I like. There's a lot you can do with that center banner area. You can open up as much as you want. You can create a different assortment of graphics, and then you can send those graphics to different parts of the site. Here's another one. A little bit more simple, but still very interesting. Here's another one with the same template as the one before. Again, a nice use of two different graphics and then graphics along the side. Look at that, that's just fantastic. And all those have are direct links onto specific parts of the um, catalog. And then one more which is very extravagant. Has a flash file in the middle. And they're doing a great job as well. Again, look at all those uh, graphic links on the left side there, going down with the featured products. They really fill this front page quite a bit. So there's a lot you can do to build up a, a fast commerce site. Okay, let's go to the uh, search engine optimization. There's two places that we're going to look at today real quick. One will be under storefront and under meta keywords and descriptions. Meta keywords. Um, let's take a look at this area right here. Okay, what this is going, where this is going to show up, whatever you put in here in terms of your keywords is going to show up in what is called the title bar at the top of the browser. That's this blue part of the browser up here. So Gizmodo sells brand new uh, N96 G1 Sidekick, Bold, Nokia, Motorola, and Samsung cell phones. Okay. Those are basic phrases about describing what the store is all about. And those are what you would put here. So you just wouldn't pile up keywords, even though it says you can go up to 255 letters. What you want to do is come up with three or four concise, four concise statements that explain what it is you do. So for example, maybe a brand, maybe a certain specialty within that brand. For example, computers or routers or uh, diamond necklaces and then three or four cons three or four short phrases concise phrases that would aptly describe what it is you do this is marketing this is very important the title bar is one of the most important things for your uh, search engine visibility and your rankings and how the search engines are aware of you and that is something that you just don't want to pile uh, higher and deeper in terms of keywords and keywords and keywords. You want to keep it concise and short because you don't want to crowd out uh, too many of the, too much of the information. You want to focus on the concise information. So having talked about that quite a bit, let's go on to the product and see what we're doing in terms of the product. Now, um, a great deal of the search engine optimization that Fast Commerce has said about is based on that uh, product name. Okay, the product name is going to show up in the product name. It's also going to show up eventually in the title bar up here. Okay, it's also going to show up in the product URL. It's going to show up in, well, let me show it to you where it's going to show. Um, let's go to the store real quick. I know this is slightly haphazard for a demo video that we're going to send out to the 10,000 registered users, but I think it'll be interesting.
Okay. Right, here we go with the same product. And here we see the product name. And here we see the product name defaulted in the title bar. That will show up first on the left, so the, that will be the most preeminent to the search engine. The search engines read the prominence of information from left to right. My keywords will be up here as well. I don't have them at the moment. So you'll have the keywords, you'll have the product name, you'll have the product name repeated in the URL, which is coming. The product name is also repeated here. The product name will be repeated behind the photo. The product name will be repeated here in the breadcrumb. And then again, what I can recommend is going in when you create the product overview for product description, that you take the product name and copy and paste it so that it shows in the upper left hand side of the product description. Just a repeat of the product exactly. Now, the, what is the reason why we're doing this? Well, because this is a product page, this is published as a static page up here, not a bit as a database driven uh, query, but as a permanent page, permanent link for the search engines. Uh, search engines are looking for information in a highly structured way. Repetition is useful, also keywords and keyword density. So for you to be able to control this in the most credible way, you want to focus on the how you name your products. You don't want to name your products with item numbers, with uh, excessive model numbers. Uh, you want to focus on brand if you're selling a popular brand. You want to focus on a clear product name that describes your product. So for example, uh, we have one fast conference client I was talking with and um, sells art stitch patterns. She had the names of the patterns, for example, Red Rose, but in all the product pages, in all the product names, but no product name that described what the product was. Red Rose, Art Stitch, Pattern Stitch, for example. Uh, she was assuming, making the assumption, that her visitors would know that it was an Art Stitch pattern, but you have to work on the search engines and help the search engines understand what it is you're selling. So in addition to the red rose, 